Me fighting this boss was nothing new to me. I've been fighting this boss all night, spending countless hours trying to fight him all over again and again. But at the end, all that ended up happening was I kept just getting one shot and dying. Before that, we have to take a step back and see how we ended up at that point. You see, this game is sound based where you can put points or squares into, you know, attacks that you want. The purple one shoots three, the blue and, and powers it, the green makes it go faster, and the yellow makes it explode, or physical damage if it's only alone. You see, this is the first level where you can collect upgrades and the squares make it so you can, you know, have more abilities. You see, collecting those upgrades makes it so our abilities do more damage, and that's gonna be crucial later on in the game. The key to success is to collecting these squares, which are pretty much you can put in a skill point into one of the special attacks. There are special rooms that you can go into, bosses, mini bosses, loot, and random. You see, obtaining these loot rooms is quite rare, you might get once a run. These are upgrades that you can collect, the one I collected it makes it so I can dash and it damages units on, on the way. The room that I've just entered is a mini boss. You see, defeating this guy makes you practice for the final dude. Also, every single mini boss guarantees a, you know, a square drop. Luckily for me, this run gave me a lot of squares and another mini boss right away. This makes it so I can shoot pretty much instantly every single second, every single beat and just collecting one more and another upgrade which is pretty good here's another room that i just found it's a shop um, here you have three options and you get to buy with those you know circles this makes it so our attacks go in a circle this was the first time i found this ever so i decided to pick it up as you can see things go round and round let's see um this is not the best thing i've ever had <laughs> As you're gonna see later on, this also hits the walls and it disappears. Music also changes whenever you change, I guess, the notes. Putting your points into the green makes it so the attacks are further away. Blue makes it so it's more damaging and the yellow one makes it so uh, it explodes on hit. This is the first boss that you encounter. You see, I've done this level multiple times and this boss was quite easy. But you see, I'm pretty bad at the game so I ended up taking a damage. Defeating this boss was not a problem and we should continue on. Here we have found another loot chamber and this is how it ends I ended up stepping into that guy but that's not a problem we're gonna just try it another time you see my goal is to defeat the second boss and see what's in the room number three the room that I could not reach yet luckily for this in this run we ended up getting a loot chamber and collecting extra loot these power-ups are key into defeating the boss later on you see i wasn't careless enough and i was you know goofing around and i ended up taking two damage before the first boss it is not ideal as defeating the first boss while having three hp gives you an extra one After defeating a boss, you also get um, you get to choose between two power-ups. This power-up seems pretty strong. We're pretty much shooting bullets at the enemies. This is on a second level. We get a room with a shop. So we end up picking up a barrier, which 
which protects us from projectiles and this is spiral bullets but remember on the first run we did this was a horrible decision so you know we might actually just skip over this and just take a note the units on the second level are much stronger there are a lot of more shooting enemies and the key to defeating all of the monsters without taking any damage is taking care of the units that shoot you know the projectiles this game is very dark so it's hard to see from where the enemies are shooting luckily we have those red indicators that show us where they are it was just a lucky room getting a shop right away i should have taken the hp i think i'll regret later on this room is getting a lot and a lot harder you can see a lot of flies and a lot of projectiles flying all around game gets harder as we get on. I really want to see what's on the third floor. We have finally met our demon that we've always been battling. This time I just ended up dashing into the boss and this was unfortunate for us. You see that special attack that the boss does is really annoying because she also can jump on you. And you can see it by her shadow when she jumps up. And I did not see that laser and we ended up dying. This is another run right after. I decided to fight him again, but this time I have a different power. The special power up that I have is a projectile protection. So my you know my lasers, my notes that I shoot out, also can deflect her projectile. I wasn't over yet. I will not give up on playing this game until I defeat that final boss. The boss on the floor level 2. You see, this game is very addicting and I could just not stop playing this game. Improving and dodging their abilities felt satisfying, taking no damage in every single room that you did. As you level up those notes that you pick up from the defeating monsters, the music changes, letting you know that you do more damage now. You see, now I decided to opt in for extra HP for the precaution of just not dying. Here was the boss from the first floor. This should not be a problem as I have three explosive bullets. HP. This is a good sign going into floor number two. Here we are at the boss, and unfortunately, we ended up taking 3 HP of damage, but here we are with 1 HP. I'm really hoping I can actually defeat this. also spawns minions which are kind of annoying not defeating them they will chase you until the end this was the run i my heart was beating so much and looks like this was the combination finally just getting a more damage on your bullets. I had a level 2, you know, final ability, and that did more damage. Look at this, it's all green, it's like computer parts. You see, I wasn't very experienced with this, it was my first time stepping foot in here. I did not know what the enemies could do or they were doing, you know. bosses were and what the enemies you know did at this point my hand
ground was shaking and my dodging abilities were not on point. Collecting power-ups is the only thing I could end up doing to improve my odds of actually, you know, clearing this floor. I wanted to see what the boss looked like, but that was a short end.